All right, so this is a review of this magnetic film that I got on Amazon. As you can see, I have three of them. Um, the first one I ordered had this big crease dent in it, so I ordered another. And then it had another, it's hard to see depending on the lighting, but there you go. And then this one also had that, so I'm kind of giving up. Basically what I did now is I sealed this inside of like a Ziploc bag. Uh, sandwich the plug bag. It makes it harder to see, but I figured it would protect it a little bit. So I just used the vacuum sealer thing and without the vacuum setting, but I just sealed it. All right, and here's what it looks like. So I have this big magnet here so you can kind of see. So when you put this here, you can see how it looks. Usually this will come completely with this lighter green. I don't know how they make the film completely light green like that. Um, but the way I reset this, if it has like marks in it like that, I just get the big magnet without touching it from kind of far and I just swing it over the top like that. Alright, it comes in this uh, hard cardboard type envelope and I'm guessing that's what ends up damaging it because these little things slide in here. So if you look at how tall this thing is, so I'm guessing this, um, the part up here hits the green plastic because here you can see it can it can't really fit well all right so I'm guessing if you order this probably more than 90% you're gonna have this dent in it all right so as for what I use this for or I mean you can use it for fun of course just to see the magnet stuff I'm gonna be returning these two um, another thing I noticed um, the edges had this like um, discoloration stuff but you can wipe that off you can just use like your finger and wipe it off you can use a little water and a paper to clean it off and it will come out but um yeah all right so anyways what i use this for i do computer repairs and things like that for a living um it's not used that common i don't use it that often but what you do what i can do with it if you notice here it's hard to see with the um uh, the Ziploc bag on top of it in camera so i'm going to use one that's not inside the Ziploc bag just so you can kind of see um, the other two, well, the other two I'm going to end up returning because I don't need three of them. I just got it mainly because um, they had the those creases and I was hoping I would get one without it. So here you can see there's the magnets from the speakers there. All right, you can see the magnets from the speakers there. If you go around, you can see if there's other magnets inside. So usually the screen will have like a magnet in it. So if you saw here, it made a trail there. So there's a magnet like down there. Okay. And then, I don't know if there's any other magnets here, you can see there's a magnet right there, okay? So these magnets, they help so you can see where um, where the trigger for the sleep and wake thing is. So it detects when the screen is open and closed. So you can see with another laptop, similar, same thing, okay? Uh, every laptop will put it in a different place, so... Uh, let's see. I don't see it on here. Let's see if we open it up. Okay, so here you can see. Alright, there's like a small kind of weak magnet down there. Okay. It's hard for me to see through the camera. And then... Yeah, it's hard to see through the camera. But, uh... Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hmm. There you can see like a small magnet right there, okay? So that's what you would use it for. Let's go back to the MacBook. I remember seeing a whole bunch of magnets in it. I think it was in the MacBook, yeah. So here at the top, you can see a whole bunch of magnets up there and a whole bunch of magnets there. So this MacBook, you can see the screen's cracked. I'm waiting to replace it. But um, there you go, so you can see. And then if you have issues with your computer, um, going into sleep mode, you can actually see where the magnets are and how it triggers the computer. But um, that's what I use them for. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this review helped you guys out. Again, I put this to kind of help protect it for my use. Uh, it'll be good just to keep it a little bit safer. Um, but yeah, other than that, you would leave it outside. The back here is not all glossy, so I don't know if this side is better for viewing. Let's see here, if we flip it this way, maybe that's better depending on the lighting. Yeah, so you can use it both ways, but yep, that's pretty much it. That's my review. Um, I don't know how useful it is for people, but um, the tool is definitely kind of nice to see where magnets are if you can't really 
tell if you don't have anything like if I use a piece of metal you can somewhat tell so I can get like the scissors here and I can stick it just because these magnets are so strong but uh, in some cases the magnets aren't that strong and then you can't really tell so like if I were to stick it here it's a little bit more difficult to tell but I can definitely tell there's a magnet there so the film actually makes it a lot easier to find where the magnet sources are all right Excuse me. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you guys later. Bye.